So this is just what I was talking about earlier where, you know, if you're going to have something to you, you know, do it good. This guy's name is Cyan. Look at his hair. Blue. Oh. Well, you couldn't really tell because he's wearing a hat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's long enough. Okay. Well. So it's just like Fro from our last set, but now we're going to be getting into it. Cyan actually playing a high tier this time in Peach. Very good character. Uh, I'm more interested in this Eclipse player we have. You know, it's one thing about Ganons is you can never really underestimate them. Like, you never should because you could be honestly just destroying them. Peach's three it hits away takes, from dying. It, it takes one interaction and you're dead. Yeah, but, I mean, w if a character like Peach, one interaction can be all it takes to kill Ganondorf as well. You know, very adept at edge guarding and getting out there to, you know, especially with the turnips and things like that to take away his jump. Um, it's going to be very dangerous in most situations to be a Ganondorf. I mean, if you're asking me, the other percents are even. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely... Percents do not matter in this matchup. <laughs> he definitely just took 40% from two hits, and now he oh. is in danger of just dying. Where's the upper? Where's the upper? Where's the... Oh, there's the upper, but going to whiff, unfortunately, for Eclipse. Air dodging to the ledge, and here come the turnips. Okay, another down beat from the ledge. I wonder if Cyan is, in fact, going to get keen to what this uh, ledge option is from Eclipse. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, and throw a turnip down there for good measure. That will be the first stock. And like I was saying, you know, those turnips are going to be detrimental to uh, Cyan's game plan here if he wants to, you know, get these early stocks away from Ganondorf. That shield is broken. Go in on him. <laughs> yeah, Cyan really needs to be running away at that moment. You know, his shield will not survive another hit. Wow, I'm Barely surviving that down tilt. Yeah, I'm surprised he survived the down tilt, but great DI coming out from Cyan. I like the jump right there. Says, you know what? I see this IB coming. I'm getting out of the way. Okay, are we going to do a mutual get of down B? Okay, no, he doesn't. Going out a couple nares, but a back air connects. And only 35% extra credit for onto Eclipse. I'm telling you, percents mean nothing in this matchup. I They're actually, even right now. I really think the percent means a whole lot more if you're the Peach than if you're the Ganondorf. You're, you know, if you're Ganon, you're not really worried about the damage you're taking. You're saying, okay, I'm going to get my hits eventually, and then I'm going to just kill them. But if you're Peach, you know, you're counting down the percent till you can just throw him off stage and t throw turnips at him. Well, I think, like, that percent is also, like, every percent. Because turnips are always going to be a threat to Ganon's recovery. Ooh, down tilt's beating out the command grab. And another back air to put Eclipse off the side of the stage. Another down B from the ledge. Yeah, and they've been working out so well for Eclipse. You know, Cyan throwing out options to try and cover like roll, things like that. And as soon as he does, si or Eclipse is just saying, well, I'm far enough away, I can just throw this out and he'll get to you. That's true. And up smash connects, but he's still living. Down B, yep. <laughs> if it if it works, keep doing it, right? Don't fix what isn't broken. I am I'm more interested of when Cyan's just going to shield because I believe out of all the ledge interactions Eclipse has had, there's only been a couple that wasn't down B. <laughs> My money is on down B if he does mutual get up. Okay, and that's going to be a dead Ganon. Yeah. And the the turnip right there is, again, just coming in clutch for Cyan, but he is a very dangerous What are you doing what? there? What? what? You are not safe on the ledge. Remember, if you are high percent, you have little invin invulnerability on that ledge. All right, but here comes the Peach combo. No, he drops it early, but picks it right back up. Forward air into the dash track, going to connect as well. But the down B going to get Eclipse back to the ground, put a little more damage on Cyan at the same time. Dash dancing, nearing, beating the turn up, and adding on some damage as well. Great dash dancing, gets the command grab into an F-tilt, and now it's going to be Eclipse's turn to set up these ledge traps. No F-smash isn't going to work. What's he going to go for? Okay, falling with the forward air. Cyan's going to beat out the... Whatever uh, Eclipse was trying to set up. Okay, down, down B into the stage. It doesn't work out for you that time. I turn up into the forward aerial. He's gonna make it back. Yeah, I would have really liked to see a more aggressive option from Cyan right there. He has to get this stock away because he is in very dangerous percentage against Ganon. I mean, these these angles on the turnips are very good. But another down B from the sledge. <laughs> now what's going to be the wizard option? kick counter? Okay, there's another wizard kick. Do it again. One more time. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, not okay. the best DI. He has to burn his air dodge. But he goes high with it. And Cyan not ready for it with the turnip. 
Okay, rolls on the stage and a double jab. Now Sia on the side of the stage. Oh, another Peach Bomber going to connect on the Eclipse. Okay, oh my god, the stitch not connecting. He's just riding along the wall. I, I'd really like to see both of these guys at this point learn to shield on the ledge right now because both of them are doing get up with a dash attack option. So we're gonna be next hit wins. Is it gonna be Ganon with the wizard kick? We're gonna see a forward air or an air from Peach. Possibly Peach Bomber, oh, floating. Oh. No! Pulled the trigger just a little bit too soon. I mean, you gotta pressure your opponent. The way that Sion was playing is that he was just like slowly drifting back to the ledge. Eclipse had Sion at the ledge, and really there was nowhere for him to go at that point. He could really approach. He could drift back a little bit, but then he has forced to go to the ledge. Eclipse had Sion right where he wanted him. Yeah. And he just pushed the option just a little bit too soon. Yeah, Sion definitely was just in the corner stuck. Honestly, if he went for anything, it was on Sion, or it was on Eclipse to react to it, but instead Eclipse got a little trigger happy. Well. Okay, well game two just looked like no character switches coming out from these two players. But now that we're going to Kalos, you know, just a little bit of a flatter stage. Yeah, and the other thing is, you know, it won't give Peach as many, you know, places to run away from Ganon to. That's true. You know, we can go onto that platform on the side, but if Eclipse is ready for it, he can throw an up B out, it'll catch the platform, and then just kill off the side. Okay, another wizard kick coming from Eclipse. And we see Eclipse you know, having a bit of a percent lead at this point. A bit of a percent lead. This is quite a large percent lead right here for Eclipse. He runs off with the neutral, but he doesn't find it. Gives up stage control to Peach, and now it's dangerous. Okay, another Nair comes out. And Ganon really abusing his Nair in this. Oh, and the S smash catches the ledge. Eclipse right now starting this game number two out strong. I'm loving the counter pick here. Okay, with a quick back air. And, uh oh. Okay, that's this is a scary time. Important. Jab just gonna anti air the peach. Okay, forward throw. He starts setting up back to dash dancing. Clips applying a lot of pressure, just using his own movement. And he says, How dare you pull a turnip anywhere close to me? I am in wizard kick range. Oh, no! Very unfortunate for Eclipse, forfeiting that stock. Now, that was actually the play that Sion needed. All right, the Again? Another one! <laughs> he keeps calling out these uh, approach or these recoveries with the forward smash and getting early, early stocks for it. That's very smart coming from Eclipse. He knows that the S-Smash is going to cover the ledge. Especially with the way that Sion's been recovering, he's been popping up above the ledge. So he knows this is like... This is the go-to move. This is optional, optimal. Oh, Ganon turnip combos? No, no, no. Oh, that was where was your F smash, man, man? Right there. <laughs> I actually, you know, the threat is just in Cyan's mind right now. You know, he knows that Eclipse is willing to throw out these forward smashes. I don't understand how that forward tilt did not connect. Yeah, it was a good tech coming from Cyan. And the trade on the forward air, that'll be a two stock for Eclipse now. Yeah, what a turnaround from like being a very close last hit game to two stocking your opponent. Yeah. But now, it is going to be his opponent's uh, counter pick. It's going to be whatever Cyan works to go. Yeah, and, and he might go to a stage that has a bunch of platforms so he can just, you know, try and run away as much as possible. Yeah, I mean, we also don't have DSR, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him going back to PS2, but instead it's going to be Smash Bros. I actually really like the stage for Ganondorf. Oh, really? Why? Because, one, it's so small that Peach isn't going to have any room to pull turnips. Um, the platform, an up smash from Ganondorf covers quite a bit of it. Mm. So if he gets forced onto it, it's going to be very dangerous. What the tech option is going to be is very important. As well as, you know, when a character has as big hitboxes as Ganondorf, a small stage is pretty nice when it covers most of it. That's true. Well, let's see if the uh, daisy switch will be enough to take... To overcome Eclipse. Ooh, okay. Okay, looking to get some sort of combo started, but only 24% on it. Yeah, airing his opponent away, and we're getting grabbed. Now the turnups will start coming out. 
And I like that Eclipse was just towing the ledge there, saying, you can do all your little fancy tricks up on the stage, but as long as you're not near me, I don't have to get up into them. Okay, another falling there. This covers such a big area. Like you're saying, you know, you wanted a small stage with big moves. <laughs> and that's Eclipse. That's exactly what Eclipse has going for him right now. I, I still feel like we're not seeing enough shields from Cyan respecting the hits of Ganondorf, especially Ooh. the down bees. Forget, <laughs> forget respect. You got a bomb on, but unfortunately you're going to whiff with it. Another wizard kick and good use of a uh, second jump. Stopping the momentum, keeping himself in the game. And that will be the first stock again. Side B into the forward tilt. You have to tech that or else it is going to seal out your stock. It's kind of unfortunate that he was teching it earlier at like the lower and mid percents, but at the high percent where it really mattered, he missed the tech. Okay, more S smashes at the ledge. Force to use his, his air dodge. He's not going to have access to it. And that's going to yeah, be a stock. It. That's it, and that's the kind of rinse repeat uh, edge guarding we need to see more from Cyan. All right, dash back into the upper. That's a lot of damage. Peach already at kill percent. Okay, yep, trying to go for the command grab him. He was behind him and got hit with forward air. I've seen that uh, Peach's forward air, like, it's crazy. Have ridiculous hitboxes, like, like straight above him, <laughs> above Peach, and still gets hit. Yeah, but speaking of a lot of range, that down smash from Gandorf scooped up Peach. Yeah, that's, or sorry, that's Daisy. Like, that's the cloud down smash. Yeah. It's always been good. <laughs> yeah, it really has. <laughs> Dang. Okay, dash attack beating the wizard kick. And a forward smash, that's a lot of uh, room that Eclipse has to cover, but a great aggressive upbeat is going to just grab onto Cyan and land back to ledge. Okay, Daisy Bomber. Flower power into and it. Yep. All right, we have a last stock game three situation here. I believe this is our first one of the day. Okay, able to get back on the ledge. As Eclipse just backs off, but Ooh. using a double jump and landing with a forward air. Oh, finally the first oh down air of the of the day, like or this entire set. I've been waiting for Eclipse to like try to abuse the down air and like the vertical recovery of Cyan. He finally used it. Fortunately, okay. it went for him, but... Here we go. No, the only two nails. He's not able to follow way up anymore. And now, once again, he has to be scared. Eclipse just dashing in and out of his range. At the same time, you know, Cyan can do the same exact thing. Drag down, lands in there, dash attack connects. See one turn up. Oh, a parry. And a, a kick wizard kick. <laughs> been paying out often dividends here for Eclipse. Yeah, Run across stage and not be a shield, please. <laughs> wizard kicks all day. Another wizard kick. <laughs> and that's a big punish. He knows that one was coming. Great recovery from Eclipse going under the ledge. Okay, Nair out of shield. Oh, up air does connect. What's it going to be? Oh, he tried to stall with another wizard kick, but it didn't work out. Oh, oh the, no. It, it wasn't right opponent. into his opponent. Spaghetti all around, and the neutral air will cross up the DI, and Cyan will take it two to one. Yeah, and that DI cross up was, you know, in part because of the Peach or the Daisy Bomber 